Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about going to your pre-release, why you should go to it. I make a video like this probably every pre-release. So shadows over in the shred. Uh, the main reasons, the top five reasons you should go to pre-release. A, it's just a lot of fun and you know that the people you're going to meet there are going to be good people. They're going to be people as interested in magic as a hobby. I mean, again, you guys are there from, for me, it's like F&M till the day break for Denny's breakfast which is kind of a tradition but it's people have not been doing that recently and the Chili's tradition which I talk a lot about which I hate but it is tradition so the people you meet are going to be just as passionate about this game as you are secondly you get to meet new people and you get to play with new people and that's just so uh, such an incredible experience in my opinion when you you know, it's not just that you get to see people who are interested. Those people might be your lifelong friends. They might be your best fan. They might be your uh, drinking buddies. They could just be your magic buddies and all of that is perfectly fine. So the people that you are meet, you're going to meet a lot of cool people who are interested in magic and you know, take the next step, take that opportunity to introduce yourself and make friends. I think that's super important um, factor. Third, you get to play with new cards, and that is just amazing. Like, there's nothing like pre-release. Like, pre-release is the only time I enjoy opening packs. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm not like the greatest, you know, I'm not like, oh, pack opening is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I enjoy opening packs at pre-release. It's just one of the most fun experiences, cracking a pack, and you know, you're looking at that person. I mean, where else are you gonna have that many people in the same room tracking the same type of packs outside of a GP, of course. Uh, number four, just the experience. Um, so as you get a little older and older, as I get a little older, because I'm pretty old now, I'm like 28, uh, you realize that you're paying for the experience. You're not paying for the cards, you're not trying to make money. It's not about making, again, I can tell you this, it's not about making money from a hobby. It's just so, ridiculous when you get older and older because you're used to paying for hobbies like golf and uh, running is actually a pretty good hobby because you don't pay for it but anyway my point being just have the experience and you're you're going to have a wonderful time there uh, and number five and this is my best you know this is my best advice i can probably give to you with some of you who are younger you can practice socializing. I know that when I was in high school or middle school, and um, I guess elementary, everyone socializes uh, fine. Uh, middle school and high school, I had problems socializing with people. I was only until college and then grad school, you know, that I came out of my shell almost, right? And so magic playing at FNM is, or FNM, or definitely a pre-release is a great, um, it's a great, opportunity to talk to strangers and that might sound ridiculous because you're taught as little kids not to do that or you're taught when you're very small age not to do that but that's like a super valuable um, what's it called super valuable trait or characteristic that you can develop and then you can become a people person because when you work in life um, and when you have a career and when you go to college and when you do everything else incredible you're going to do you're going to need to talk to people who you don't know <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Have fun with pre-release and uh, for you guys to know, I'll probably be at DNA Comics pre-release. I'm not 100% guaranteed, but uh, if you guys want to hit me up, I will talk to you on Facebook or, and give you my cell phone and we can decide what to do.